Guys, I was not going to make a video, uh, but um, I am actually feeling a little bit better. It turns out I actually had listeria, uh, we're thinking, because I ate a lot of spinach salads from um, Publix, uh, the grocery store here, and found out that they um, recently had a recall on them uh, for listeria. Anyway, but I am feeling a little bit better. Um, so I decided to go ahead and take a video here. There are now six peacock gudgeons in here. Um, so I put one in my 15 gallon and then there's one back there. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. There are no, that is a female. Can you see the black fin? Um, uh, there are now a couple of good sized males in here. Um, if we happen to see one, I will point it out to you. But, um, but there were other things I wanted to show. This, well, I'm going to zoom back in. This red crypt right there. Oh, he's so gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. Um, this red crypt right there, um, it is not experiencing any melt yet. And I was just, um, Joanna from Primetime Aquatics was just telling me to get ready for the melt. It's going to happen. It's been quite a while. I mean, it's been at least, what, five or six days? Uh, and there's just been no melt. Uh, so I don't know if I did, I guess I did something right. I don't know. Or maybe it just liked my water. I really don't know. Um... Other things, um, I talked about uh, lowering my bio load. Oh, of course, the, the tank did clear up. Thank you for everyone who uh, sent comments about the tank clearing up because uh, instead of just do nothing because it will clear up on its own, and that, that's what it did. Um, I did actually add um, maybe quite, quite a bit of stabi uh, cecum stability, just good bacteria. Um, that, that probably helped it along, along a little bit because people were saying, hey, give it four or five days. Uh, and it actually cleared up in about a day and a half. Uh, so I think that beneficial bacteria from the cecum stability actually um, played a, a good role in that. Um, one thing I'm very excited about is this right here. I moved this uh, back over here more towards the corner. And this right here. See that sprout right there? I've been wanting my uh, jungle valve to move forward. And so I've been coaxing it with root tabs over you know over in this area to help it spread out uh, I don't want it to, I, I don't want it to, I want it to kind of grow around this you know um, this piece of driftwood with the nubius on it uh, I've got some pink granite a, a large piece of pink granite that I kind of want to put in that spot right there where that sprout is coming up uh, so it, but I don't know I don't want to kill it you know <laughs> but I've got some pink granite. It'll be here in about a week. I uh, just talked to the guy today. He was waiting on another shipment because the shipment, all of the, the stock that he had did not have the piece that I was really looking for. He was gracious enough to wait till he got another, another shipment in uh, of this pink granite. Um, and so he, he sorted through them and found the piece that I was really looking for. And uh, he showed them to me today and he is cleaning it today. And he is baking it today. Uh, I guess that, that just sanitizes them by baking them. Um, and then he is mailing it to me. So uh, in this area, somewhere over here, we will have a large piece of pink granite. And I think that will give the tank um, some color that it needs. I mean, I love the green. Everybody loves green. But I think it, I needed um, a breakup of the color. But you know how like some people have like a, a red tiger lotus? Uh, that really pops in their tank. I think that's what I want for this and, and that's why I'm getting that pink granite And then I may actually do some more stuff in my 15 gallon with that pink granite as well because it's a box of pink granite uh, So he's he picked out that one piece for me and then uh, he's just you know sending the, the 10 pat the other 10 pounds of uh, or 15 or 25 pounds or whatever I bought of, of pink granite um, I think it's coming from Texas or, or somewhere. I'm not sure um, anyway, can't see really more in the peacock gudgeons. They, they are finding really good hiding spots, uh, of course, underneath all this, um, java moss. Ooh, I saw a male get, even bite this guy on the tail, my lemon lungfin. I saw a male peacock gudgeon who's a pretty good size in here. Um, uh, probably one of the largest ones I actually run this guy off. Um, he, he literally ran, bit him on the tail and ran him off. So, um, believe it or not, the only issues that I've seen are with the Praycox rainbows. I don't know why. Uh, the Praycox rainbows and the Peacock gudgeons don't mix very well. Um, 
the Praycox rainbows don't seem to like them very much. Um, so they, the, they, they are staying around here. Um, they love hiding underneath this piece of driftwood right here. Um, but I've, there's two caves back there, so there's probably, probably some in caves back there uh, that you can't even see because of the, the jungle vow. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on in the tank right now. I think you can hear in my voice. Uh, I, I, I think I'm over it. I got so sick, I don't want to even tell you about it. It was unbelievably bad this morning. I thought about going in the emergency room. Uh, I was in the bathroom for a very, very long time. And to feel this better, only what? Like, it's been like eight hours. Not even that long. Because uh, it is uh, the time on the wrong, time is wrong on the oven. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so it's around 6.30 at evening p.m. right now. And uh, so just from the earlier time that I made that short video on um, on the 15-gallon till now, I feel so much better. You can hear it in my voice if you watch that, that video on that 15 gallon of the Peacock Gudgeon in there. I think I've titled it a surprise in my 15 gallon, something like that. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. That's what um, is going on in the tank right now. And we will have more later. Again, thank you for watching. Everyone have a great evening.